Hi, I'm Jess, and I just want to say right off the bat, I have no affiliation with Gymshark. I was not sent these for free. I am not a pro athlete thing. I'm not an Instagram model. I'm not any of those things. This is just a regular average Joe Jane perspective on the leggings from Gymshark. I am someone who doesn't want to spend $100 on really any thing. I had to put my hair up, it was getting everywhere. If you can see my sports bra, it's because I have boobs. I ordered two pairs of leggings because I saw every single person on Instagram, on YouTube, talking about these leggings, specifically the flex leggings, and I think maybe two girls at my school gym have them, and they look really good on them, and I really wanted to try them out. I'm someone with a bigger lower half, so I have kind of a pear-shaped body, smaller chest, bigger bottom half, hip area, but my waist is smaller, so I want something that'll fit my waist, but have a lot of stretch, but is squat-proof. I'm kind of, I wouldn't even say that that's that hard to do because I've found Forever 21 leggings that do that. Leggings from Walmart that are squat proof and tight around my waist but have enough stretch if I have a food baby or something. I was really excited to place this order. It took forever for it to get to me and it comes from the UK and it was when the orders were crazy because of the 50% off or up to 50% off sale. And I got the, I think these are the Beat Flex Leggings, really cute color. I've gotten tons and tons of compliments on these. And then I have the Sleek Aspire Leggings. These have the mesh on the side, which go up really, really high. I did not know that. But these are the Purple Aspire Leggings. And I just have to say, I have no idea why this happened. Because I have worn this pair in particular one time and then I put them on to go work out and it's not like I did squats the day that I wore these but also it shouldn't matter because I see people like Whitney Simmons doing insane amazing booty pumping workouts in leggings I'm pretty sure she's worn these actually that's the reason I bought these was because of her now I love the waistband I love how high it is I think that the contouring on the butt right here is really really flattering honestly more flattering than the flex leggings in my opinion because I wish this was a little bit more round on the sides I think it would just look better for my personal figure but these are super stretchy these are squat proof these seem to be squat proof, but I didn't squat in these, and when I was going to wear them the second time, I was going to squat, but I had a hole, and it's right in the butthole area, not the butthole, it's right in the butt crack area, and I noticed too, let's see, so you can see there's a hole there, and there's the little thread coming out, and it's also starting on this side. So it's really coming undone. It's tearing away from the stitching, which these are expensive leggings, but also after one use, there's a ton of separation. Let's see if you can see that right here. It's starting to split apart. This one's not as bad as uh, the obvious hole. Do you see that? That is so frustrating. I wore these once. This is the crotch area, by the way. And you can see right here, it's starting to kind of like peel apart. These are super soft, but I've worn these once. If I do any sort of workout, even upper body, clearly it's messing with it. And I know that they had tons and tons of like record-breaking sales, I'm sure, during this time. But also, there are celebrity athletes talking about this, yet me, just a regular girl, can't have a good pair because it didn't last more than one time. And like I said, all I did when I wore these was upper body. I didn't run. I stretched a little bit didn't really have a reason to have this problem. I'm a little frustrated, so I just want to ask you guys, have you guys had this problem? I know the flex leggings have had moments when they tear along the seam. And I get it, because it's along the seam that it's more likely to tear, but also those are originally like $50 and then shipping costs. So it's it's up there. I mean, I could get Forever 21 leggings for $12 to $15, and I've never had them rip. And I've had one pair, actually, I've had two pairs for a very, very long time, and they haven't torn. And I've done squats in them, I've ran in them, I've worn them a ton, like, all day, where my thighs rub together, and it doesn't have that, like, pillowing, kind of, like, peeling effect. And I also have a 
two pairs from Walmart that were $10. $10 that didn't do that. So I'm just, ugh, why? I'm so sad. I haven't even gotten to wear these like two, three times. They were already done so. I'm sorry. I, it, this is a little bit of a rant, but I just want to see what do you guys, what's your experience with this? I can't even like show you guys what they look like on and these are really, really cute, but I'm just scared that they'll rip too because ah, I'm just so frustrated. Anyways, thanks so much for watching. Let me know what your guys' experience with Gymshark is. Mine took forever to get here and then I had this problem and I have to send it back. Also ask them like, hey, I'm just going to get a refund for this. Can I get an exchange maybe? I kind of want to try it again because I got them on sale. So if I want to try Gymshark again, like that pair that I love, that I get compliments on, that feels so great, and are really the only pair that fit my body the way I prefer, but it tears. So it's like, it looks good, but it doesn't wear well. And that's so bad in my opinion. So anyways, I'll talk to you guys later. I don't know what else to say besides I'm frustrated and I look really, really washed out. Bye!